What's up guys, welcome back to episode 7 of the TCG Card Shop Simulator. Last episode we pulled a full art dupe worth £90. I reckon we can sell that for close to 110 So we're going to get straight back in, we're going to put that card up for sale on as much money as we think we can get for it. We're going to look to get the licenses for the comic books, we're going to try and get some more shelving. The, the aim of this episode is licenses, more stock, more profit, that is it. Um, so that hopefully episode 8 we can try and mess around with some things and have some fun. Let's get straight into it. And here we are, back outside cutscene cards on the morning of day 19. Right, first things first. We pulled a full art dupe. Market 10-10. 1-10-14 is what we're listing that for. If that goes really quickly, I'm going to feel like I've, I've ruined myself here, but it's worth the risk. And that's also not a bad card to have. Right, let's check these prices. Market, 1010. Oh my god, that's gone up to £30 a box. Seems. Lots of money there. And um, that can stay at that. Market, 1010. We'll call that 44.50. Uh, we'll call that 38. That's gone up by another pound overnight. Uh, we'll call that 19.50 still. We'll call that 1915 all. We'll call that 30 on the nose just to make it a bit easier. Cleanser. Oh my god, it's dropping every day. These smelly boys do not want to smell any better. That's gone up again. We'll leave that at that. Market 1010. This has dropped even more. Christ. Maybe I should just open them for that. Because like, we're getting to the point here of I'm going to be losing money soon. Market 1010. They've stayed the exact same. That's fine. Oh my god, these are almost up at three a three pound a pack. Uh four pound a pack rather. Okay. I checked all the prices to everything there. Awesome. We should check these because these could have gone up a fair whack. Yeah, but even like how cheap some of these cards are, they've gone up like three pence overnight. Which isn't a lot of actual money, but when you consider how much of a percentage point that is, is fucking nuts. Can't believe we're selling a card for 110 quid. Right. Let's get into it. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Go on, someone just walk in and buy that card off the rip. Go on, do it. No, you bought a different one. One ten card, that one right there. Imagine though. Then you just walked in, Mr. Big Bollocks, and just gone fucked yeah straight away. I'll be honest, I'm kinda of glad the first person didn't buy because if the first person walked in and bought, I'd have been like, shit, I definitely could have listed that higher. They've gone what a great deal that is and just ran. So, right, how much do we need? Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Oh, now someone buys a fucking epic pack. <laughs> I'm actually fuming that other guy bought them two yesterday. Well, imagine what I could have pulled with two more. Could have got crazy. Um, yeah, what is it? Oh, pay bills, pay bills. Before I forget. So, the absolute next license we are buying is the first comic license. That is a non-negotiable. We need 900 for that. Um, At that point, we definitely need another shelf. A single-sided shelf for 300. Um... So that's 1200 just to be able to physically stock the item. Plus whatever it costs to, like, buy a box. People are saying all this stuff's a little expensive, but I really don't think it is. Have I just not brought it down enough? Should I go 25 on that? People, I saw someone say this was a little high as well. I disagree. I think that is completely fucking fine with where the market price is at. Bye.
It sounds like my audio is not balanced right, but it definitely is. I think I'm tricking myself here. So yeah, I need 1,200 for um, another shelf and the ability to stock that. What other licenses do we want to try and get here? We can't afford the Epic box. That is going to hit like crack, by the way. Um, we're nowhere near that yet. Not near that yet. Oh my god, wait, there's... Oh, that's the net... Oh my god, there are so many different packs. Okay, so Destiny comes up. We're just on, like, Gen 1, essentially. Christ. Um, we can start stocking some dice. To, like, dice licenses are pretty cheap. So, what, be 200 to buy the dice licenses? Right, let's work out what, what the licenses we want are. We want... The four dice licenses, which is 200. The comic book license, which is 900. So that's 1100. And then what else? Oh, then we also won system gate number one license. Which we, want, we want to spend 1300 quid on licenses. Wait, she bought it. She bought the full art. Holy shit, we just sold the full art. Let's go. Imagine so nonchalantly dropping a hundred quid in a single bit of cardboard, by the way. Mad lads. A lot of them. Um, 10, 50. One. Right, let's get some cards back out on display. Christ. That's some good money being made right there, ladies and gentlemen. Mother of God. So we can afford all our licenses now, I'm pretty sure. What did we say? We can... Oh, no, it's 1300 for the license we want, isn't it? We've got 200's worth of dice licenses, um, 200 for the tabletop game, and 900 for the comic. Oh, my God, these cards are actually going fast on, like, a... Restock them right now. And these are all like one pound and cards and all. Mother of God. I don't know, James. I feel like when something's the right price, it sells. But if it's even a little bit too high, it won't sell. But we'll take, we'll take the There we go. Now we can afford all the licenses we want. So what we'd need. That's four dice. So that'd be probably two shelves. Unless we, unless we clamp down how much we stock of each. If we go like that and get rid of that. How many, sorry, how many of you can we fit on a spot here? Nine. So if we sell two more of them, that'd be another spot saved. I'm down to open whatever's left on a shelf on here. If we just do one slot of each for a bit so that we can have as many items as possible. Maybe. We'd pro we probably wouldn't even need to buy another shelf or maybe only one more shelf. Because think about it, we're buying licenses for six items. We have one spot there. One spot will become available there. So that's two spots. Three spots. Four spots. At six. So yeah, one more shelf should be enough to give us the uh, room to make this work. Shouldn't it? Oh my. Alright, broski. Alright, broski. Holy mother of God, we're making money today. Yeah, let's get the yellow out. Let's get these out. Oh, actually, no, let me go the other way on these. 
cleansers. See, now we're being smart. I'm sorry, what are you buying, sir? A metric fuckload of packs. What a gen? Um, one fifteen. A card for the gentleman? No, you're not getting six pence extra change. I am trying to be rich. I'm trying to be like that lady who just dropped 100 quid in a card and didn't even fucking blink. I mean, in all fairness, she might just not have blinked because she's a computer generated character, but still. Creepy, no? Oh my god, the packs are selling. They've heard that I'm going to start stocking less of them. They've all fucking shit their pants. They've heard the rumours and gone not on my watch. Oops. Right. So we could absolutely go down to one shelf of this and just have six packs for me. Oh my god, you smelly fuck. It's been such a busy day while I'm also trying to work out how I'm going to rearrange stuff to make everything fit. Kind of don't. I want to kind of avoid buying another shelf if I can. To just work out what moves and what's worth having multiple of. So I, I think we keep two of these no matter what because they do sell pretty well. Boom. No, what's the? There we go. Get rid of that. Um, how do I want to rearrange stuff here? One sec. Do I still have a box handy? I do. Right. I'm just going to put these up here so they're out of the way for a second. I'm going to see if I can fuck around and use this box to move stuff. Nice. Where does this make the most sense to go? I think I want the dice across the top here. But I've got... Shit, let me make sure these are out. So I've got four slots across the top. I need somewhere for the board game. And I need somewhere for what else? The comic book. Die. Um, so unless I give up one of these spots, I, I need another shelf anyway. Is what I'm working out here. So, if we're going to have to buy another shelf anyway, what do we want to keep with two spots? I want to swap epic and rare around, just so it goes common, rare, epic. So what, I'd have four across the top. As dice, they could move down to here. Wait, no, that still doesn't work. Am I being dumb? Oh no, I still assume I get rid of that. Four there plus three. Gotta keep them, so I'm only gaining six, which is all I need. Yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna be the way to do it here. Fire decks all of a sudden sell it. It seems like everything starts selling off. You've had it for a little while. We'll turn the light on now and here in a second. We have made some serious money. No, I didn't. How come did you mispractice? Is he injured? Okay, so what do I need to order more of while I'm trying to work out what the fuck I'm doing here? Uh, let me open this up quickly. Oh, really? Jury duty is so funny. Because everyone thinks their job, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, his job actually isn't important. But everyone thinks their job's so important that it should get them out of jury duty and then they will get a rude awakening when it, in fact, does not. Um... I'm literally just reshuffling shit around at the minute. Will this all fit in this box? Awesome. Uh, 
We're going to try and reorganize. I like this reorganization. I think it's good. I can't open the blues. Those deck boxes, they can't be opened. They're just for storing like you're playing decks in. Do I keep selling some of these every time I open this box? So I swear there was 17 in it last time. Or was that just a different time altogether? Oh, awesome. Oh, okay, we're about to do a load of business because people are getting ready to leave now. Or is everyone leaving? Okay, cool. So. This is fine. We've got one, two, three spots, and we're going to have two more spots there. Right. Middle of shelf. What are you talking about? Right. We want one of you. We need a box of green, unfortunately. If it's less than half, I'm going to make that my rule for deck boxes. Because that seems to be a good rule of thumb. I know I end up sitting on some for a while, but I'd honestly rather do that than run out. I'm, you guys have not been moving fast, and you're quite expensive. Um, boost packs. 400 quid. Yeah, no, you can get fucked. Um, right. Now let's go get these licenses. Um... No, just leave it default. Boost packs. We're not buying any licenses in here. It's just in accessories. Oh, this is going to be far too expensive. I probably can't afford all of these. We'll add them all into the thing and see. Um, and then we want... See, comic book. 200 quid to stock that. Okay, so we can't afford to order everything. So we also can't yet afford to order the tabletop here. And we also can't afford the shelf. So. What do we do? I think we cut the dice from this order. For now. And we order them tomorrow. That brings this down. And it means we can also get that and afford to buy that. And we should be able to afford the shelf. We can. Boom. And then tomorrow we'll be able to stock dice as well. It's expensive, but I think it's for the best. Comic books. Oh, wait. I've just realized. What if this takes up more than one shelf? Like, it absolutely does. It takes up two spots. I mean, for today, that's not a problem. But that is worth remembering. Um, them six pack will be mine. Because I'm a pack gremlin. Just the first day of the episode, holy shit. Okay, and that is just one thing. Cool. These cards are all dog shit. Oh, that one's actually quite cool. That's quite cool as well, holy shit. Just insane pack luck today. Can 15, 16 quid on basic pack. Profit again. It's so difficult being me. Straight profit every time. More profit. So much profit. All of the profit. Never seen profit like it. Profit. Especially when you have 20% onto that. Oh, that's a cool card. First edition foil. First edition foil is a fire. Unfortunately, all of the money in that pack is in the one card that I'm not going to be selling from it. Ooh. Still profit. 
Bum, bum, bum. You need to list some cards. No point listing the price on that yet. Or that. All these prices need to be updated in the morning. I'm going to go out on a limb and say today was not a profitable day. Don't know why. Just trust me. Um. Wait, oh. Um, I've got more room than I thought because each shelf is double wide. Dodoy. So that's actually not going to be a problem. I've got more space than I thought I had. We'll be fine. Uh, right. We actually had a slower day than I thought, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, we lost £800 today. Take out the upgrades, though, and we made £800. So that kind of shows you the, the money we were dealing with today, ladies and gentlemen. A third table is definitely in this shop for future, though. Market 10-10. Market 10 10. Market 10 10. Market 10 10. Sixteen pence up on that overnight. Coolio. Market 10 10. Or do you 12 quid on the dot? Holy shit, we'll do you at 45 just to see how we... But I've only got two of them. Maybe I'll push my luck. Go for 47. What was it? Yeah, we'll go 47. Fuck it. Um, These I need to check. £30 is still absolutely fine. I'm not going to stress to try and push for the extra 50 pence. We haven't quite broke past £4 yet, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, Have you dropped again? You have. Priced alive. You stayed the exact same, which is actually quite nice. 275. We're gonna keep pushing them motherfuckers as long as people are buying them. That can stay the exact same. Holy shit, the stinky boys refuse to go away. Right. Um, let's open up. We are currently in negative 21. We need 60 quid to pay our bills, so we need to make 80 quid to um even have a chance of breaking even today. We should be okay though. You watch this first fucker go, where are the dice? Okay. Uh, hey, we're back in green. Holy hell. Well, we're about to be able to make rent, which is good. Just one solid start for the day, eh? Awesome. Let's just get that sorted so I know that's done. Everything else for the rest of the day is my money. Didn't expect it to happen quite that quickly and smoothly, but we can take it. If you haven't already, chat, make sure you're liking the stream. Helps out a bunch. And if you're watching on Twitch, just like follow. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? One, one, one. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Um... Yeah, we're fine. We're big chillin'. No one panic. The last time we sold that, that was for one ninety. And that would be with a 20% markup. Now the base market price, which we don't deal with, is more expensive than the last time we sold it. That's how much we've inflated the cost of these price, the, the, the price of these cards, just so we're clear. With the um, pauper game. What's next? Fire cup, we could go straight to the earth cup, water cup, wind cup. All of them make the same amount. So it's probably worth Going to the fire cup. Might do that next episode, but it's probably worth going to the fire cup. Because then we can probably stock these and they'll probably go up because that's a deck full of fire cards. It's my logic. Don't know if that will actually work, but that's that's my logic. And the game does seem pretty logical. Hey, the first one of the board games are sold. Nice. We've made so much money already today.
met that motherfucker at the door. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh my god, an epic pack. Congratulations, sir. Have I not given him his change? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. No. Oh my god, this man has just bought a lot. 58, 70, oh, 5,075. I fucking wish. Ow. It's price, I need to have a think, he says as he picks it up. That is so me. Do you know how many times I've done that with comic book chat? More than I'd like to admit. Oh, we got some pack fiends in today. Right, off rip, what can we already see that we're going to need more of? We're going to need more deck boxes. Not deck boxes, basic card boxes. Add to cart. We're going to need more... Okay, one sec. Let me let me let me go for an ad what I already know we're gonna need. We're going we're gonna want these, we're gonna want these, we're gonna want these, we're gonna want these. Um cleanser, I think we're all good for at the minute. Oh double oh, 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 oh. actually getting a little bit stressful. <laughs> what the fuck do I have? I have I have some of them. I have some green. Do I need any green out right now? I can put one out, that's fine. Cool. Red deck boxes. Cool. Um, you have just spent 61 quid. What a hero. Right. I'll probably go want one more of these. What have we got in here so far? We've got all the dice and the basic card box. Cool. We're also going to want one of the fire decks if possible. Fire battle deck, which is expensive. Mats we're getting there on. We are we are making money today though. Like it's another 140 quid this Don's just spent. Like madness. Oh my god, you smelly fuck. Restocking the shelves. Oh, and now I need more cleanser. So I have one left. Oh, for fuck's sake, bruv. Every time I'm like, oh, I don't need any of that right now, someone comes in there just like, yoink, all mine. Right, dice. We've already got. Cleanser, we need. This, we need. We're looking at thirteen hundred worth of stock already. We need red. We need red deck boxes. We are probably gonna need yellow. We're fine for green. We will see about yellow later. I'm not putting it on until I know for certain we need it. This is craziness. Right now we are looking at. Nearly 1,500 quid in stock being needed. There's no way we're going to be able to afford that. So we're going to have to work out what we actually want. We might have to wait it out and dice a little bit more. We'll see if we can save money anywhere. Is that our last fire deck? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Holy shit, we're making so much money. Yeah, I'm not worried about only having one ball game. Um, because that's not going to be something I think is fast moving. We've already got red deck boxes on the list. Epic packs we're probably going to be running a bit close on. Um, 
rare packs. Did we add rare packs in? I don't think we did. I'm a little bit skeptical of rare packs at the minute, though. Fuck it, we'll add it in. I'd rather it be like too expensive and bring it down than anything else. We'll be able to get away with not needing them. But like, the stuff that I'm like, oh, we probably don't need is like the cheaper stuff. Oh, my guy's just bought three of the comics. What a hero. I mean, I say that. It's four o'clock. I mean, I need like 500 more quid to, to make this purchase. Thing is, to do that, we're going to sell stock, <laughs> which will then need to be replenished. I'm working on a massive markup as well. It's all these extra, all these licensing fees are crazy. We've gone so hard on the licensing fees this episode, we've put ourselves in a bit of a hole, but not like a bad hole. Like our, our flow rate is absolutely fine. It's just I want to stock everything we have. I also cannot afford to spray that man because I have no cleanser, you smelly bastard. I, okay, just go buy these go go. Go buy these go go. Cool, cool, cool. We are now running low on blue deck boxes. Because this was full. There was eight this morning. In fact, there was more than eight, wasn't there? I think we sold six today. Like I said, I'll add it all in and then see what makes sense. Oh, not another stinky bastard. We're going to be so close on the stock level. Oh, now the comics are moving like mad, but a box of them fills two shelves with a good profit margin as well. Comics actually have got a nice profit margin per unit, and a box is like two shelves. Why are all... I swear to God, words got out amongst the smelly fox that um, I've run out of cleanser. I'm telling you. Look at them. <laughs> I need to get some fresh air for the love of God. If I see any other smelly fucker coming towards the shop, I'm just going to headbutt them. For my insanity. Yeah, look. You horrible woman. You're ruining this small business. No one wants to play with you, pal. You smell too bad. You've literally chased me out of my own stall. Christ. How are we going to make this money work? Please don't say it's too smelly. Please tell me you've just had like a nose job that means you can't smell stuff anymore. Oh my god, the word has got out. Nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna wear it. What, what are you saying? Yeah, today's been a bad day for people who knows it. Oh, there's no way there's three of them in the store right now. I'm not clearing out the entire shopping cart. It's actually gonna be more effort than it's worth for that. But it's insane. The game fucking knows that I've run out. You can't tell me otherwise. The game absolutely knows that I've run out and it's punishing me for it. We're so close on stock level here though. On being able to afford stock. What have you just bought? It's not another one outside, is it? No, it was just her odour. I couldn't work out. Oh, we can probably work out something. We we could probably just give up like one dice or something. We can probably just give up like one or two of the dices to make make it work. What's our stock order? We need 1700, about 400 quid short. We can probably also actually, have I got the eight pack of basic? Yeah, so if I get rid of that and do just the four pack instead, that will save us a bit of money.
I can make do without um about the sleeves. Rare card we're running too low on. Blue and red we desperately need. Um What's the most expensive dice? We can probably just cut the most expensive dice and we'll be fine. Or the fire battle deck in all fairness. That saves so much money. Comics sell well. This has got to be the best first day in items had in the store. It's got to be, hasn't it? I can't think of a single item that's had a better day. Okay, now we do have to buy more fucking board games. Holy hell. Are we actually going to be basically out the money I needed beforehand after cutting all that stuff? We're not a million miles away from it, are we? For fuck's sake. Right, because I know I'm ordering 12 rare packs, I'm going to um, have a go on these. Fun. Fun. Worth it. Big worth it. We've got to leave that on the shelf like a mug. That's 36 quid right there. Yeah, mint. No one's looking to buy anything right now. Cool, cool, cool. I think he's going to go for the sill. So we also want another one of these, which is fine. That's only 40 quid. This is 118. I think that's okay. In fact, what I will do is I will get the um, the sleeves back in. So in here I've got base card box, all the dice, sleeves, cleanser, deck box on rare cards. Um, I'm going to get some epic packs as well. Um, assuming I can afford them. 103. Yeah, I'll, I'll be good, I'll be good. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Holy mother of God. Hunt. Yeah, cool. Um, right. I'm just going to purchase this first. Just so that I can get this in and out of the way. Right, you got that. Now we go and we purchase this massive fucking stock order. We have made an insane amount of money today, by the way. We started the day in negative money, and we've just been able to buy like 1,400 quid worth of stock, and we've still got some money left over. Do you know how fucking ridiculous that is? Oh, wait. Each of these take up two slots. Are we not going to have enough shelf space? I'm going to lose my fucking mind. We should be able to... Um, I'm just going to leave a box that's empty on the floor there, just so I can use that to um, rearrange stuff if need be. We might have the ring to make this work. I don't know. Red deck boxes. Glad we got these back in stock. Yeah, I don't know where you're going yet, Pav. They're going to be open by me. That is absolute... Um, that's for color territory. Sleeves. Buy some spares of them for sure. Which is actually not a problem in the slightest because I always need more sleeves. They sell so well, it's insane. Blue deck boxes. Yeah, we we sold like six of them yesterday, which is nuts. And it's definitely going to end up bite them in the arse. I bought that many, but I actually don't care. And then cleanser. Right. Do I have two open slots across this thing? I don't. Which are pain in the arse. So, what we're going to do, we're going to move you down to here. How many of these can I fit on a shelf? Eating. How many is left in this box? Six. Right. You're going here. 
and then you're going you're going here right we have all but one item in stock now awesome wait i said i was going to open I said i was going to open these let's do that 50 pence 47 41 363 good bad pack overall though profitable once we had our 10 cents on but it's been not great pretty good overall i think that's about the same as the last pack though actually a little bit worse pain that's a cool card not a bad pack probably just straight profit on that yeah before we have to add our uh, our tax holy hell that's cool huh You know, six deep. We like that. And um, that pack is just about profit, I think. That's a cool card. That's a cool card. That's a cool card. That's just a cool pack. I don't know. Like, I think I'm making money. Yeah, I am making money on that pack. But there's three really cool cards in there. Oh my. 171 gold edition foil. Let's go. That's a cool card. That's a cool card. Yeah, opening these packs has been profit. Would it not make more sense to have the dice next to the board game? The dice are not for the board game. They're like D and D dice. It's just, it's just, it's just dice. It's fine. 27 quid. Let's go. We've made so much profit from these packs. Nice. Two fifty-eight men. Fifteen sixty-nine. Let's go. One fifty-eight. Nice. Right, that's that done. Let's get two cards out and then we will close up the shop for the day and come in and do price in the morning. Awesome. That's the end of day 20. 54 total visits, 38 checkouts, not bad. We were still profitable on the day, by the way. We spent nearly 1,400 on supplies and we were profitable on the day. That is ludicrous. Um, right. Next day, let's get in. Last day of the episode. Let's just see how much money we can make to leave ourselves in a really good spot come the end of um, the episode. Check, let me check all these prices. Uh, that card price had come down. That's slightly worrying. I like, capped out how much these are worth. Oh, that one's still on that. Okay, some of them will come. Oh, wait, that might be the epic cards. I think the poor game can negatively affect them. Um, oh, that's come down. Eesh. Oh, they've gone up massively, though. Let's go. People, people want the pack more than anything else. Yeah, 47 is absolutely fine. With only two of you there, again, I'm happy to kind of really overprice you. 12 quid will sit on that. Right, dice. How much do you sell for? What's the profit margin on you? Not bad. Um, we'll call you 17 nice and flat. And we'll call you 14.50. There's decent profit margin on these dice, you know. 17.50. And then the red ones. Um, probably get away with plenty, but I'm going to go a little bit under. I need to, when I come in and do this, do it in, in a more logical order. Because it's doing my own head in. The deck boxes have crumbled overnight. The industry is in disarray. Did I not notice that I was low on yellow like a buffoon? Or did I just not care? Uh, 
How are you doing? Oh, they've gone up a little. We'll leave you at seven just to be safe, but they've recovered. Please tell me you've gone up a little. Um, Matt's, I've barely checked you. Oh, 22. Is that an improvement? I think it's a massive downfall. Um, these have recovered a little bit, which is nice. Um, sleeves are continuing to go up in price, which is just fun. Right, everything over here has been checked. Everything over here has been checked. Boom, we are open for business. Let's get it. Let's get it. This episode, I think, is going to run really long. Die straight away. Boom. Bills. I remember. There we go. One, two, three. Eight, four. Let's go. Oh, you you got an assortment of stuff there, didn't you, pal? What did you get? Oh, I was too late. I'd already gone to the, take the money, but that guy bought some stuff. System gate one's a little expensive, did he say? That's fine. If that your price range, don't buy it, pal. No one's fucking forcing you. You still bought it. You complained and still bought it. Sixty-nine. Nice. Three fifty for the card is brilliant. I need what I need to do is when I get a personal shell, I need to just have a cleanser always on it, so that even if I sell out, I know I've got something to target the smelly boys with. Personal shelf is something we absolutely must get next episode. I keep on getting tracked by being able to sell new and cooler stuff. Next episode, I don't think we increase the amount of things we're selling at all. We just focus on shop expansion, more tables, and like a better vibe, if that makes sense. More order. Yeah, dice. Dice has dice started off hot. We sold one of every dice part from the most expensive one? No, the second to cheapest one. I think they're the nicest looking. Oh, actually, no, that blue and gold is kind of lit. Them, them yellow ones on it. The red and gold is kind of lit. The black and gold is kind of lit. And the blue and gold is kind of lit. Yeah, first sell of things is interesting. The stuff that I've noticed people going, oh, they don't have this thing, like the fire deck, took ages to start selling. But the dice, which aren't exactly like a cheap item, are selling really well. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Maybe I just hadn't noticed people complaining about it. Another dude has just come in and gone, oh, System Gate's a bit expensive and then bought it. I'm now sold out System Gate instantly. Fucking comedy, man. Comedy. Has our review started to recover yet? Still a couple of comments. Oh, we saw one. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, what have I done? Uh. Just, just like emptying these boxes as quick as possible. It makes no difference because there is still stuff there. It's not like I'm not going to be able to sell anything because I've left the shelf empty. But I just like these boxes gone as quickly as possible. I need to go back to having three spots for these as soon as possible. They sell so well, and you just don't fit that many on the shelf. It's actually needed. But that's why I want to spend the next episode focusing on spanning the shop so we can get a bunch of shelving in, so that we can have all the stuff we stock at a nice level. I'm going to reorganise it all, and it's going to be fucking mint. So one sec. Next episode's episode eight. Where we're just gonna try and make money. And expand the shop and desk space. Hmm, okay. Episode ten might be like a funky episode where we just reorganise everything, do like a we don't actually progress time at all, we just reorganise stuff. Maybe. Maybe maybe maybe. maybe. Mm, uh, Seventy two. B 
It's prize anything. I swear to God, if he comes over here with epic packs, I'll stay in there a bit prize. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I know he didn't pick anything up. Fucking hell, we're already at 800 quid on the day. Christ. Um, let's start having a look at what we need in stock. We need deck box, uh, basic card box again. As always. We need mats. Play mats. Nice. Yeah, that's expensive, isn't it? Yellow deck boxes. Other than that, I don't think we need anything else right now. Oh my god, the queue got massive. Uh, we probably need epic packs based on that. Uh, 6403. Cool. Have a great day, pal. More dice for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. Um, I think I have a couple more blue uh, deck box. I'm probably able to get rid of them now. I just made a fuck, fuck ton of money there real quick. Just so we're clear, that means I've already sold... Uh, that was an eight. I sold one, replaced it, now I've sold four. So I've sold five of them today already. Blue deck boxes need to be replenished. Comic books are okay. Um, Did we get yellow deck box in here yet? Yellow deck box, play map, basic card box. Um, we're going to want another batch of you... And I'm going to put another batch of Epic in because I'll probably need them by the end of the day. Other than that, I think we're okay. We'll see. Obviously, it's still only like 2 o'clock. More stuff can sell. But I like to try and add the stock that I need as I'm going so that I don't have to then try and work it all out at the end of the day when I need to put the order in, you know? I would love... <laughs> This is crazy and so nerdy. I would love like a stock management system built into the fucking game so I can set a minimum order level and then it will alert me and go, you need more of these. Modders, get to work. <laughs> oh, I need more um, of the board game as well. The doy. The shelf was so empty I forgot I needed it. Awesome. So what, I'm, I've got £610 worth, 620 that I need for in there, and 45 for in there. So I'm at 665 worth of stock that I'm going to need to buy, which means on the day so far I'm about £100 profitable. As it stands. Uh, okay. I absolutely need more blue deck boxes, don't I? Dice are okay. They sell nice, but they they like you get enough of them that they hang for a little while. They sell. They're not a super fast moving item, bearing in mind that you get two shelves worth of space in a box. So that's that's good to know. Definitely need more of these bad boys. It's so weird like being this deep like as you're watching the vod version of this this is episode eight for you guys but episode one's not even gone out yet that's how like on it i am with this right now um so like i could get a bunch of comments on the first episode going oh you can do this by the way and it'll make your life so much easier and then i'll be like oh my god thank you so much but you won't find out for like 10 episodes <laughs> crazy right uh, nice Got a lot of people who spend money, aka customers, what giga chats they are. Hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. Dice, dice are really, really, really solid item. You're not even fucking coming into you, smell better. There you go. There will be no stink in this shop today. Not after the pain that was yesterday. <laughs> Um. Oh wait, I just realised one bit of expensive stock I've not restocked. I've not um, included the fire pack there. I can afford it. I think, but I don't have anywhere to fucking put this shit. This is the problem. Unless we do go down to one of these. Yeah, lots, lots of... Oh, my... That was 19 and £23 for the first two cards there. What the fuck? Oh, my God! What the fuck? Oh my god. I need to hurry up because I can see a Q forming in the background. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Oh, hello, sir. No customer waiting. So, yeah, if I um, do that like that. What I can do is move this down to here. Then I'll have the room for the fire decks next to it. And I just have one shelf packs at a time for now. I think this is the matter. Um, to answer your question, James, sorry. Yes. Um, any Anytime there's like a... We'll call it a YouTuber reaction to um, a pack. Um, you, that that I, I, I have a button on my... Uh, foot pedal that um, connect to OBS and takes a clip for me already edited in the short form so then all I have to do is trim it uh, and they will all be edited up how many of these we got left two so yeah, so what we can do is we now have room for board games, a fire deck, and everything else. So we can stock literally everything we're selling. As I've always wanted. Because I think I'm ready to change that to the fire game as well. Because that also is um pays more per hour. Which is kinda nuts. Right, let me get some more cards out here. I have to reset these market ones again, but there's still customers in the store that might come over and buy some of these cards. Market ten ten. Are you guys going to buy anything before you go? Or are you just going? See, I told you. Told you. Dice uh, 250. Dice and card 165. Right. So, deck boxes. We know we want. Not deck boxes, sorry. Basic card box yet. Yeah. Play mat yet, yeah. deck box yellow, basic and epic is all we've got in here. But we know we also want fire pack, fire deck, which is going to go there. Blue didn't sell anymore. We didn't sell an insane amount of any one dice. That's fine. Right. Purchase the order. Purchase the order.
good news is at least one of them gets to be for me. Um, I'll work out what I'm unboxing here in a minute. Oh, I didn't actually sell any more of them, which means I'm sitting on a fair few of these. Um... I know I can only put out half of these, but that's absolutely fine with how much they cost. I would actually rather be sitting on some of that stock. Uh, the play mats, we can get all but two of these out, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, I need to remember to close the fucking thing for I yeah. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Stacking box is super safely in the corner, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I, I I could have taken that off the order. Oh well. Right, so here's what we're gonna say we get. We get one of these. We get eight epic and eight normal packs, because that is a quarter of everything then. Oh my god, 465, there we go. And a brand new card as well. Oh my god, that was an insane pack. Basically covers the entire box, to be honest. Not enough to be fair, box is selling. Oh my goodness. Oh man. 11 pence, 390, mint. Yeah, no, we're, we're big chilling here. This box is paying for itself. Major style. Seven thirty one. Cool. This, this box already paid for. All these packs now are pure profit. Thank God that's pure profit because that was a putrid pack. Christ alive. There we go. Bit of a recovery. That's a that's a huge pack. Even though it's still pure profit, that um, covers the previous one. Nice. Bam, 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 bam. Right, that's that done. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Oh my god, that's a cool card. Well, there we go, that's that pack faithful, and then some. I mean, what's 8 times 7 is 56, in it? So, we're only like, there we go. All these packs profitable now. Insanity. That's a cool card. The epic, the epic designs work so much nicer on a foil than some of the common designs. I think I actually skipped the first one there. Impressively quickly. Yeah, I did. Ooh. That entire pack is duped. And it's worth 10 quid, so I'll be able to sell it for like 12. That's a pretty poor pack. 363, we take that. 1231. 556. Oh my goodness, that was a really solid pack. Cool, there should be 11 left in here, I believe. Yep, that's right. And then we get eight of these. There's going to be some in here. The 291's not bad. Profit ball pack. 1356, let's go. Oop, 
310, let's go. Profit will pack. That's all we care about. Profitable just barely, I think. Uh, probably not actually. 560, this is a profitable pack. And it comes for the loss of the last pack and then some. All dupes, worth 10 quid. Scenes. Oh, that's a cool card. Great, you want to do. Seems profitable pack, should be. Right, um, that should now have 23 in it. Beautiful. And that is us done for the day. Let's, uh, we'll check the numbers before we end the episode. Our customers aren't increasing that much. I wonder if I'm limited by the size of the store at this point. There we go. Still made £52 profit on the day. Um, awesome. Very, very happy with that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was episode 7 of the TCG Card Shop Simulator. We had such a good episode in getting some of them new licenses, getting some more shelving so that we've got as much on display as possible. But we didn't make much money. We've left ourselves barely making any money this week. So... Next episode is going to be all about grinding out as much money as we can. We want to build a, uh, a treasure vault just full of money, Scrooge McDuck style, gold coins everywhere, so that in episode 9 we can go off the rails. Episode 8, we're going to, we're going to build ourselves a little fund. Episode 9, we're going to blow the entire lot of money on just making it the most radical shop you've ever seen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.